Tonight, an East County neighborhood is pushing back against plans to move a sexual predator onto their street. A dozens of residents rallied tonight in El Cajon just as the courts ready a decision that could allow a criminal to move in soon. News 8's Lamaga Peters has more from tonight's emotionally charged event. This is the second rally neighbors held on Mount Helix to bring attention to the fact that two sex offenders may be living in this home right behind me. I'm infuriated. My husband is, we work so hard to live in this neighborhood. I care about the city of El Cajon. Outraged neighbors in El Cajon are rallying to stop another sexual predator from living in the area. Convicted sex offender Merle Wakefield is scheduled for a hearing on Monday, and neighbors say they will do whatever they can to keep their children safe. It's not right to just dump these guys into a community full of children. It's not okay. I understand the law, and I understand they need somewhere to go. Not literally, you know, there's so many children surrounding this house. Many of the neighbors blame Liberty Healthcare and the Spinali estate for helping predators move into the area. Liberty Healthcare is the company that will monitor the convicted sex offenders, and Spinali owns the home they may be living in. Why is this guy Spinelli making a business right down the street? To me, that's a business. The business of sexual predators. At the rally, the supporters of the community also voiced their concerns about predators like Wakefield and the damage they can cause families. I mean, come on, look at all the children here today. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was a child that was abused like that, and I don't want them to be abused. Earlier this week, a court hearing was held for 78-year-old Douglas Badger, a convicted sex offender who may be living at the same house with Wakefield. So far, the courts have not made a decision about placing Badger in this home, but neighbors say they're praying that the courts will reconsider placing Wakefield here on Monday.